and friends, Crafty Gal Victoria here. I wanted to share with you the quilt that I have completed for my granddaughter McKinley. It took me a little bit longer than I originally had planned. You guys saw the quilt top when I had had it all stitched together. This is the quilt. I'm gonna stand back and show you guys so you can see it in its entirety. I wound up binding it in this purple batik. She loves purple, so I thought that would be a fantastic um, binding for the quilt. And the original fabric that I was going to back it in once measured and opened and ironed, I didn't have enough. So I wound up using this. It is a 100% cotton sheet that I found at the thrift store. I think I paid $1.99 for it maybe, or possibly even less. It could have been a color tag day where I got it for like a dollar, but it is in perfect condition. I brought it home, I washed it. Look at how cute that is. The blue in the flowers matches perfectly to the blue in the unicorn blocks. I'll stand back in a minute and show you guys. But it turned out so cute. I wound up quilting it horiz or horizontally and vertically with a serpentine stitch. And then I went three inches in from the top of the block and three inches in from the bottom of the block and um, stitched all the way across, quilted it all the way across that way. And then I did a serpentine down the center of every single block. I just, it'll hold it good. It needed to be about every four inches max quilted apart. And I thought that would just be a simple, quick, easy quilting stitch to do. And I love the serpentine stitch. Now, the reason I do simple quilting is because I'm just quilting on a domestic home brother um, sewing machine. So it, I, there's not a lot of throat space for me to I don't know. It, it doesn't sit recessed into a table either. So it's really hard to do like practice free motion quilting. And I, I just love the way it wound up turning out regardless. So I just do simple, whether it's um, diagonal lines or serpentine or straight line quilting. That's just what I do for now. But I think it turned out so cute. The final measurements, I will get those for you in a minute and I'll put them down here on the screen. But it wound up being kind of big. I took some pictures of it on my bed and it looks so nice. I have a queen size bed, so that'll kind of give you some perspective on how large this, this quilt wound up being. It's amazing, I love it. And she's going to love it. She's gonna just love it. She's been anxiously and patiently waiting for me, Ma to finish her, her blanket and it's finally done. So let me stand back and show you guys. There it is in its entirety. It turned out so good. I just love it and I'm excited to get it in the mail to her. She's going to love it. Her little sister Riley loves her unicorn blanket and now she will finally have hers as well. So I'm excited to get it in the mail and get it shipped off to her so she can finally have her very own snuggly quilt from Mima. <laughs> I gotta get over to the post office today. But there she is. Like I said, I'll include some photos so you guys can see how cute it looks spread out on the bed. And I don't have much else to to say about it. I just wanted to share it with you guys before I shipped it off. I've already got um, more fabric picked out for my next quilt. I actually have enough fabric picked out for my next like three quilts. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm just the type of person that doesn't want to have like too many sewing whips in progress. And speaking of sewing whips, I have been doing other sewing. I have completed one, two, three. Well, I don't really wanna say completed because they were projects that were already done, but once they were completed, I noticed some imperfections in the stitching. 
So I wound up taking it apart, seam ripping it apart, re-ironing and correcting those errors that I did not like very much. So I did that, which is nice because they have been sitting in a um, like a Dollar Tree basket and I've been whittling away at those. So I've got one, two, I got three. I actually got four of those done, four. And then I have one more that I'm working on and then I've sewn some other things. But I'll be sharing those in an upcoming video because a couple of them are birthday presents for others. Until um, they receive those for their birthday, I can't show you that stuff even though I really, really, really want to. In the meantime, um, I have been sewing and I've also been working on another collaboration project that Christy over at Hooks and Horseshoes and I are working on. It's like our bucket list of crochet items that we've been wanting to make. And I have some great news about another project. I can't wait to tell you. That's coming up really soon in an upcoming video. But I have all kinds of things in the works to share with you guys. And I also have some wonderful anniversary, birthday, and happy mail stuff I would love to share with you guys. Some stuff I'm really excited about. It's been on my wish list for a long time of some items that I wanted um, to enhance my sewing and my crafty side. So I'll be sharing that stuff with you soon as well. Regardless, I wanted to share this quilt. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and that's all I have for you today. But I will see you all in the next video very, very, very soon. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Till next time, Crafty Gal Victoria here. Bye. <laughs>